And welcome to Disc of Lady Ada. Hello, and it's another work time stream. Uh, I got my prototypes back. So these are from the Manufacturing Monday from four days ago. And uh, if I'm lucky, sometimes I get the PCBs back before the end of the week, and I did. So I would open these up. And uh, you can go to maybe the hover cam. People on Twitch and uh, YouTube can see the packaging. So um, they come in through receiving, and they actually have a CC, CID, a component ID. Um, I get the prototypes made by Gold Phoenix, which has a really nice service where they will route out all of the shapes, which I kind of like. So let's uh, open this up. All right, and I ordered three of each, but I think I got more than three. So, okay. So yeah, I got a bunch. So this is the um, sensor feather wing. So um, this is a BNO 055 um, IMU sensor in the center. And then over here is a BME 280. And then over here is a uh, light and color sensor, a TCS. Uh, 34, 725. So I'll put these together. And this is basically kind of like all the sensors, just because um, I was going to make like a nine off wing and then like maybe an environmental wing. But I was like, you know what? I'll just do one PCB and that way I'll be able to test all the parts at once. So that's, I got four of those. That's cool. All right, next up, I got uh, some experimental crypto wing. So I took um, Josh Datko's crypto um, beagle bone cape. That's it, what's called. And, you know, instead of having it be like this big, I, I just made it like this little teeny little wing. And so it actually has a lot going on here. There is uh, ECC AES128 crypto chip, um, a precision real time clock, a SHA 56 uh, hasher, and um, a trusted protected module, just kind of an interesting little like secure chip. I guess it can store secrets inside of it so you can have this be authenticated. And I've never used the TPM, so that's kind of interesting. And they all talk over I squared C. So it's nice that it'll, it'll work with any of the feathers. So like if you want to add um, a lot of crypto to a ESP8266, or you want to add crypto to um, a, a Wicked board or whatever, so it's adding crypto. Okay, so that's that. And then let's do some more slicing. Okay. I got a lot of wings done this time. So this is the uh, Charlie Plex wing. So this has that um, IS31FL uh, 1374 chip on the right-hand side. It's a little chip that, well, it's a QFN four millimeter, but you know, I'm not scared of 0.4 millimeter here. And uh, it has a couple of passives, but then it basically can do PWM Charlie Plexing of a whole bunch of LEDs. So this is a, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 by seven LED grid. That's kind of all I could fit. Oh, 603 LEDs. But I can do individual PWM of each LED, which I really like. It's the only chip I've ever seen that can do individual PWM of each LED. So there we go. People can see it over there. Okay, so we're gonna have these in all colors, but I'll probably just make it in red to start. Okay, so that's that. Um, also got a GPS wing. Uh, I've been meaning to do this. Actually, it's one of the first wings I designed, but I just never got into finishing it. Uh, we'll add GPS capability to any of the feathers uh, over UART. I mean, I, eventually maybe I'll find an SPI or I2C capable GPS, but UART is well supported. The only one that will have a problem with it is the ESP8066. The others, because it uses that UART for debugging, it like only has a UART. The others use USB. So you have a hardware UART free. So it's gonna use the ultimate GPS, an external antenna, um, fix. You can, um, I put little jumper so you can change RX and TX if you want, reset, uh, pulse per second, fix output, GPS, reset and enable. I have a PFET <coughs> that's being used as a um, power control. And then there's a little uh, battery, a CR1220 SMT battery. So that's the, GPS. So many protos. Okay, so let me see if I have any more wings. I think I have two more. Okay. 
Oh. This is the Power Relay Wings. This is the one I designed um, on the show. And you can see I, I got, I asked them, hey, can you route out this shape? And they actually did. I wasn't sure that they would do it for me, but they did do it, so that's kind of nice. So the high voltage stuff is a little separated out from the low voltage stuff, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so this is Power Relay. Um, you set the, you short the jumper that you want for the bottom, whichever GPIO you want. You have a, you don't have all options, but you have a, uh, uh, 11 options for GPIO. I think that's plenty. And it can do 10 amps. So that's kind of nice. Power relay. We have a relay wing already in the store, but it's only uh, 60 watts. This is going to be like a kilowatt. Oh, and this one's fun. This is the um, Feather M0 version of the LoRa and RFM Feather. So we've already got those uh, Feather wings. The feathers that are 324 plus LoRa or 324 plus RFM. But um, yeah, of course, everybody wants an M0, Cortex M0 as well, lots of memory, so you can do a lot more with these radios, uh, especially if you get, get into more complicated protocol management. So this is going to be um, an M0 version of that. So you get 256K of flash and like 32K of RAM. And then it says RFM 69, but it's pin compatible with the LoRa radios, so I'll be able to just like I'll build two of these with LoRa and two of these with RFM, and that way I'll be able to um, test both with the same package. Okay, and then I got testers. So I have to also design testers. So this is a tester for the RFM and LoRa radios. It's just a nice uh, outline. And here I have a pogo pin that touches the antenna and gives me a little antenna just so I can test um, signal strength. Um, this is for testing the seven segment um, feather wings. So I'm gonna add a, a, more feather wings that do like LED stuff. So this is a seven segment um, display. So I'll actually solder the seven segment here and then you'll push the um, feather wing here and it will make the connection and drive the LEDs up there. So that's seven segment. And then let's see, I've got a couple more of those. I got one for eight by 16 to eight by eight matrices. That's another one. I got four of those. Uh, this is the same, but with hex. So quad hex digit. And then, oh, here's the um, tester for the, um, the uh, 324 radio board. So I program them with a um, Arduino Zero, and then I have a little reset button, a NeoPixel AD to tell me the status. A beeper if I want to have a piezo to tell me that it's done, and then I, you know, have the pins kicking to each other, and I use those to test the um, the GPIO. And then I also got um, I tried to make like the smallest possible M0 board, so maybe we'll see how that goes. This is kind of a I'm not completely sure if this is going to work out, but I kind of just played around and just made it like really, really, really small. So if you want a very, very teeny Cortex M0, so that's a lot of boards. I think that's 12 total designs that I can get started on. So actually, I'm going to grab that relay because I think I have the samples. Let's see if it fits. In the biz, we call this dead air. So Lydia is walking across the factory right now, and she's on her way. Yeah, I'm back. Well, I just went to the sample shelf. So, okay, so I got these, uh, these samples. So I think this one is the one that could fit. So I didn't have this before I did the layout, but we'll see if it's the right shape. I mean, it's a kind of a gigantic relay is the only. So yeah, so it's, it's a pretty big relay, but um, what's nice is it's a three volt relay, so you don't have to have external power. It can do 10 amps at 250 volts AC. And let's see if I got the package correct. Ooh, nice. Okay, good. Yeah, fits. I mean, it's gigantic, but um, you know, it will fit on top of your feather if you want to add a 10 amp relay. I mean, I'm, I imagine somebody will want it. So we can um, solder this together and I'll try it out. Huge. That's ridiculous. Gigantic. But you know, it's like, you know, you want the little relays, of course, only do 60 watts. So this one, if you want to do 
control your washer or dryer or something, you'll need that. And then this is a, um, a latching relay, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to um, make into a feather wing, but I got a sample of it. It's interesting because it's, it's much smaller. I mean, it's longer, but it's a little, well, I guess it's about the same height. It's less wide. So, I mean, this is also an option. But the only problem is it really, it takes up like exactly all of the space. Anyways, it's an option for the future. <coughs> and that's, that's the samples for today. Fun weekend. Is that everything? <coughs> Ooh. I still have the plague. Okay. Well, um, we'll wrap up here, but then to uh, <coughs> Facebook Live and Periscope, maybe you can um, uh, quickly just hold up each one. So let's uh, <coughs> let's get out of Desk of Lady Ada while you cough yourself to, <laughs> to death. death. <coughs> you all right? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get you out of uh, this one over here. So say, say, bu say goodbye to this camera. Later. Okay. Uh, all right. So 